Hi guys, it's Stevie G and welcome to vlog rant number two about watchdogs. This is not my usual stuff as you can probably tell if you're a regular watcher. Uh, this is my vigilante edition hat and vigilante edition face mask from watchdogs. Um, yeah, I'm not wearing it because it looks cool. I'm only wearing it because your mama asks me and it gives her a sense of danger when I do wear it. Just kidding. Uh, no, what I wanted to talk about today is, you know, I've had further comments about watchdogs. Um, you know, people saying that the multiplayer experience was a little bit, you know, they, they didn't go to a lot of depth with it. You know, they had a few different modes. The story was awesome. Everyone loves the story. Uh, it's pretty good there. A couple of people whinged and said, oh, it's not running at full 1080p. You know, it's running at 900p or something like that. Now, to be honest, if you're one of these guys who likes to, you know, you need two hands to pull both the dicks that you have, uh, you know, and you need to sit there and individually count 1920 pixels across your screen by 1080 up and down, then that's great. They have actually announced that they're going to be upping the specs of that to full 1080p and 60 frames a second so then you can stop your pissing and moaning uh, the game runs perfect at its current resolution anyway and i think ubisoft have been very smart now if you think about this for a second if they give you everything that you want in that game from day one there's a very very high chance that you're going to get bored with it quickly whereas if they delay some of that stuff and not make it as good as what it could be and then release those things in DLCs and updates as they go along. You know, more multiplayer modes, continue the campaign or have a different viewpoint of the campaign, things like that. It could be it could be a good thing. So I think Ubisoft is definitely smarter than a lot of other companies that I've seen. Uh, like EA, for example. EA, uh, you know, Battlefield 4, perfect example. They pretty much... It's been out for like six, seven months or something now. And they said, oh, yeah, we're going to fix these lag issues. They're going to fix these lag issues. They have had more updates than I can count. It's just insane. Uh, it's like above 35 different updates or something, and they still haven't fixed it. EA was basically, you know, worst company in America two years in a row. You know, Ubisoft... <laughs> And the way I see it is they're only trying to do good stuff. Now, you're not a game programmer. I've got a lot of respect for game programmers because I am a programmer myself. And doing normal programming is pretty hard at the best of times. Doing games programming where you're dealing with graphics and textures and all different kinds of complexities, physics, uh, things like that, very difficult thing. Especially when you have to conform with, you know, the 8 gig of RAM and you know, the system specifications of the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One or, or whatever console or platform that you are dealing with. So that can be a difficult thing to deal with. Um, so I think at the end of the day, Ubisoft have done a good job. Um, the other thing I do want to say as well is their last game. I bought their last game as well. $54, I think it was, for uh, Trials Fusion, motorbike game. I don't play too many motorbike games, but... I bought this game, $54, got the deluxe edition for $54 off the shelf with the disc and it basically comes with the season pass so I get every DLC. Same thing with the Vigilante edition that I got, DLCs, I get all of that stuff so everything's peachy there. Um, yeah, I, I really struggle to see, you know, that, you know, people always want everything straight up and i don't blame people because that's the natural human reaction you want everything but as soon as you've got everything you're bored so think about that and also the other thing like i said yesterday when you have high expectations you overhype something you as the consumer overhype something it's very likely that you're going to be disappointed because you've overhyped it so much and your expectations up here. And if it goes down here, you're disappointed. 
Um, whereas, you know, if you set your expectations down lower and, you know, you might be surprised. So there's just a little bit more, you know, of my rant on Watch Dogs. I think it's a good game. I highly recommend you go out and buy it. And I think that they will do good things when the updates and releases come out in the coming months. All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. Um, yeah, so um, peace out. I'm going to go take off this ridiculous mask, which is hot, and I'm starting to suffocate. Uh, like I said, only wear it because your mum likes it. Peace out.